hello guys welcome back to the new video so in this video we're gonna make this portfolio website from scratch using Elementor okay so here you can see that let me reload this website from scratch okay so you can see that uh, the beautiful animation coming okay let's move below this is the home page okay uh, beautiful animation also there and also let me let move to the next section my portfolio here uh, here you can see that i have uh, added an animation for this okay so let's move to the next section this is our testimonial section where you can add your every testimonial okay so this section this beautiful section the hover effect let's move to our project section okay and this is our contact section okay and if i go to the top and let me go to the links let me go to the portfolio testimonial projects and then our contact session and uh, a very nice button to the top okay so if i go to its uh, phone version mobile version let me go to its uh, responsive part and let us see how it's looking in the mobile as uh, as uh, you can see that it is totally mobile responsive too okay so if you want to learn how to make this website from scratch this is the right video for you and okay and this is completely mobile responsive as you can see okay so let's start the video and make this website from scratch okay so for making this website i'm going to show you which themes and plugins i am using so if i go to my plugin section you can see that this plugins i am using download this plugin elementor elementor pro elements kit light essential add-ons for elementor and premium add-on and this plugin is for this guy okay so let me show you the themes which i am using and the i am using the official elementor theme okay made by the elementor team official okay so let's start the video okay so let me add a new page and we're gonna make this from scratch okay so let's i name it home to choose your default template and go to elementor full width and publish okay so let's add it with elementor okay so in this we're gonna use the uh, we're gonna use the elementor flexbox containers if you know the css properties you can play with the elementor flexbox okay so for activating the flexbox go to the elementor go to settings and go to features from here you can activate the flexbox container which is based on the css if you know the css language then okay then let's move to the nested elements and you have to activate it too okay just activate these two and save the changes okay now let's get back to the video okay so first we're gonna make this our home page then uh, then i'll show you how to make this header from the scratch okay so let's go to settings and from settings let's choose the elementary canvas okay so this will give us a blank page okay so let me update it first and uh, let's go to the uh, user preference and from here i'm going to choose the dark theme okay let's update okay now we are ready okay so let's start our first section okay let's me open this website okay so for not making the video long i'm gonna use some settings from here okay okay so let's start the video okay so first we have to make this section let's add a container and inside this container we're gonna add an image like this okay so let's me go to styles and from here go to classic and from here image uh, let me choose this image okay let's select okay then we have to go to position make it center and here make it cover okay let's move to the layout part and let me go here and see what size i have given uh, i am using uh, 150 and 400 from the bottom okay so let me do here go to advance go to padding and add 150 from the top and uh, 400 from the bottom okay i don't want to make the video long so that's why i'm using the same settings okay. you can play according to you okay let me go to the background overlay and from here i'm gonna add a little black color to it 
हो गया ओके सो ओके मेक इट लेटर ओके लेट्स मूव टू द नेक्स्ट सेक्शन हियर वी हैव टू ऐड द थ्री ओके सो फॉर एडिंग दिस गो टू विजिट्स एंड फ्रॉम हियर ऐड अ कंटेनर ओके लेट्स डुप्लीकेट दिस कंटेनर टू टाइम्स ओके नाउ वी हैव टू गो टू दिस एंड फ्रॉम हियर गो टू ले आउट एंड मेक इट इन द रो डायरेक्शन ओके नाउ वी गना मेक चूज दिस कलर लेट मी गो हियर फ्रॉम हियर एंड गना ग्रैब दिस कलर लेट्स गो हियर and add this color to it okay so it is not displaying because okay now we have to add such type of border radius let me go here and go to border let me add the border radius of 20 okay so we don't have any content right now so let me add the content first okay now we want an icon and text okay so inside this container let go to this we going to add okay we don't want to add a container let's go to the widget and search here icon drag and drop the icon and again search for the text editor drag and drop okay let's go to this container and from here layout then make it row direction justify center align item also center okay so now let's choose this let me add this okay let's copy this from here content go here Okay, let's go to our icon, and from here, I'm gonna choose the map. Let me choose this. Okay, let me change the color, make it white, and for the text, you also want to make it white. Okay, okay. So let me see. Okay, almost. So let me add the same padding here, which I'm using. Sixty thirty, sixty thirty. Okay, let's go to this. Go to padding. Sixty. Thirty, sixty, thirty. Okay, one zero is more. Okay, let me view it one more time. Okay, this is looking perfect. So let's go to this and delete our old lay uh, container. So let's duplicate it. Okay, perfect. Let's update. Okay, so now so we have to just change the content. Let me go here. And I'll only change the content. Okay. So here, ah, uh, you can see that it will come in the new land. So just add the HTML br tag here for like this. So it will come in the build below. Okay. So here we're gonna add the icon. Okay. So let's move to the next. Here we're gonna add this. Go to here and add this. Okay. so here i'm going to choose the mail option you can change the content what you want okay okay let me change the content here also demo mail at the rate gmail.com or whatever you want okay okay so this section is also ready if you want to add uh, one more mail go to here and add another email another at the rate gmail.com or any demo content whatever you want let me okay let me update it and let's view our page okay so our first section is ready let's move to the next section okay so for move so for making the next section we are gonna add an, uh, another container here okay Let's go to styles, and we're gonna choose the same color. Let's go to the black one. Okay. So from here, go to the advanced and add a padding. Let me add hundred from the top and hundred from the below. Okay. Okay. So the next part is we have to add this. Okay. Okay. So for adding this, we have to add a container. Okay. Let me see what is the width of this. Uh, let me go here. It's eight fifty. So let's choose the same width. Go to here. Go to layout, and from here, add the A fifty. Okay, let's make it white first. From here, make it white. Okay, so now we want that image. Let's add the content, and then at last we're gonna style it. Okay, so let's drag and drop the image. Let's choose the image. You can choose any image, whatever you want. I'm gonna choose this image. Okay, so like here, you can see that image is added, but 
this image is in the circle so for making it circle go to styles and here add the border radius to 1000 okay then for the width of the image let me go here and see what is the width okay let me add 25 i don't want to make the video long so that's why i am doing this i'm copying the styles okay 40 40 50 40 okay let's go here and i'm gonna add the same padding but the same padding 40 40 50 40 okay 40 40 50 and 40 okay okay so let's uh, add this content so for making it we have to add this add the content hello make it center and from here change its color to dark let's increase the size let me copy the same font which i'm using here pop in 8600 okay let me go here pop in 60 okay 600 okay so this is also done let's move this okay a bit about me let me go here and duplicate this okay a bit about me let's uh, go here and change its color from here i'm gonna decrease its font make it 30 and also make it 50 okay let's make it 600 okay so this section is also ready let's add this so for adding this you have to go to the text editor just drag and drop this i'm going to copy this from here okay let's change this okay so we have to add this heading inside this okay let go to styles and make it center and from here choose it dark okay so now we have to add the same style let me go to styles and see pop in 2400 let me say add the same pop in 20 and then 400 okay so now we have this uh, border radius so for adding the border radius you have to go to the container from here styles and from border add the 20 okay so let me see okay so this is looking like this okay so now we have to make this image to the to here okay so for making this go to image go to advance then from here choose the em and from here just add the negative margin to it and it will be above okay so it is above okay so let's choose here and increase its font size okay let's make it 80 okay this is looking good let me add some advance and go to add some 60 from the top and 50 from the top okay okay so this is looking good let me save it okay now we have to make it above okay to the above section so for making it what we have to do go to this container okay this container from here advance do the same go to em and from the top make it like this do it like this add the negative margin and it will be automatically at the top okay let me see okay it's looking perfect okay let's update okay let's refresh the page okay so our second section is also ready now let's move to the next section okay so for adding it let me add a container new container from here go to advance here add the ap from the top and ap from the below let me go to styles and choose the same color let's choose it black okay okay so now we have to add this okay 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 let me go here and choose the width same 850 i am choosing 850 because it is perfectly aligned you can see that okay okay that's why 850 okay so now we have to add uh, add this heading let me go here and add this okay so you can see that here it is white let me go here and choose it white let me change it font size to 60 okay almost same let me change the content my portfolio okay 
so now we have to add okay so uh, we are making for this okay okay alex martin let me rename here robert pattinson everybody know robert pattinson if you don't know i don't want to tell anything robert pattinson is the hero of the movie that movie ma mm, harry potter last part okay so let's focus on our video okay alex martin here we have to change its con let me make it 70 okay so let's add this okay so for adding this let me copy this and from here paste it and let's make it white okay so this is white okay so here the content is little bit more so let me copy the content go to here and let's copy the content uh, okay just add little bit line height for this let me add 40 okay so this is looking good let's update okay let's now we have to add this okay so for adding this we have to go here and add a container okay so inside the container we're gonna add four container okay go here duplicate duplicate okay let's move to this outside container and make it row so after making it row it will in the flex direction row. Okay. so now we have to add the text like this text okay so for adding this uh, we have to go to the title and from here add resume and from here uh, make the color orange and decrease the font size let's make the font size 20 okay so now we have to go to this and from here make the flex direction column make it center from justify and also from the align now we have to add this background color white okay so for adding the background color go to this container and from choose here white okay though this is white now we have to add the border okay so for adding the border okay okay now we're gonna now we go here and let me choose the same settings again i don't want to make the video long that's why okay padding is 70 30 70 30 let me go here go to the advanced and i'm going to choose the padding 70 30 70 30 okay okay let's copy this okay this is ready now we have to copy the border i think it is same if if this is not working go to here you can go here and from here go to this okay let me add the width okay and for the hover let me add the same width let's choose the color orange okay so this is looking good uh, just we have to make it center okay okay so for making it center let's see what we have done here okay let me first uh, go to this main container and see it's a23 okay let me go here let me go this container and i'm gonna add a23 okay so this is uh, 30, that's why okay okay so this is looking this let me go here or uh, if you want to uh and if you want to shape like this uh, you can also do that but if you want to say make it center make it like this totally exact shape so uh, let go here and see uh, what we have done 70 30 70 30 go to styles go to border okay okay i think uh, we have to first let me let me make it first and then we're gonna add the styling okay so let's uh, duplicate this let me duplicate this okay third time duplicate this again okay so it is looking almost perfect okay okay so it is 50 
that's why it is coming like this. Let me go here and let me choose the cap. Okay, so now it is looking good. Okay, so these are the settings. Choose the uh, choose this container uh, elements gear 50 and then make these settings go to here. Make the styles border like this 500 and also make it this. Okay, so these are the settings. Okay, so skills projects and contact. Let me change the content skills projects do here and add the content okay so our this section is also ready let me update okay so here you can see that we have little bit space above so if you want to add the space go to the here and go to advanced from here you can add the margin from the top let me add 30 okay. okay let me refresh this page as you can see this is the first section this is the second section okay so this is also ready let's move to the next section okay so this is our portfolio section okay so let me go here and add a container okay now we have to go to the advanced and from here add the padding 80 from the top and 80 from the below go to styles and from here choose the same color let me choose the black okay so now we just have to copy this copy this from the top paste here then copy this again and paste here okay so here you can see that uh, we have like this okay for this what you, what you can do is uh, let me go here and see what margin and padding what I, I have given okay so in this go to advance uh, okay 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 we have to go to this section now okay let me go here and see it's 200 200 okay so let's go here and go to the advance okay let me go here and add 200 or uh, uh, you can add the matting and you can also add the okay so whatever you want both will work both the margin and the padding okay so let me change the content go to here and let's change the content okay Okay, so let's change the content here. My portfolio. Let's make it white. And we're gonna change this little bit form. Let's make it 60. Okay, so this is looking good. Okay, let's update it first. Okay, now we have to make this. Okay, the uh, the animation is looking very good. So how to make this? So let me go here and uh, let me go to the widgets. And from here, we're gonna add this container okay so inside this container we're gonna make this four columns okay so for making this add this container and let's duplicate it three four okay now we have to go to the main container and from here go to the layout and make it row direction okay now we have to add an image drag and drop the image okay so let me choose the image any image or whatever you want let me choose this okay now uh, we have to add okay let's do one thing let's go here and just paste it here copy this and paste it here okay now we have to style it okay this is coming because we have added this margin and padding let's remove it, let's remove it. okay now we have to make it align left and from here just make it 30 and also make it 500 okay you can play with the fonts and all okay so let me go here what is the content brand campaign okay and this is properly center go to content and from here -E okay so what is this graphic design and all so uh, you can add whatever content you want i'm gonna add uh, read more okay just read more Okay, so for this, uh, let's make it 300 and, uh, and what is, okay, let me change the color, change the font little bit and from trans and from here, go to italic, okay, so I think this is looking good, now we have to add the white color, okay, so for adding, go to container, go to advance and from here remove the padding, let's go to styles and add the whitish color, okay, let's make it black choose the dark one 
and for this choose this color let's increase the padding okay perfect this is almost looking okay now we now we have to add this border okay so for adding the border uh, go to this container you can choose the navigator you can go through the navig uh, navigator because it is uh, confusing so if yeah, you so you can choose go here and from here go to styles go to border and just add the 20 pixel okay so you can see that it is applied but the margin is not applied in the image okay so for applying in the image choose the image go to styles and from here go here and add 20 from the top 20 from the bottom okay now let's okay so this is ready so here you can see that uh, we are getting some space if you want to reduce this space go to advance choose this heading okay go to advance and from here add the negative margin to it okay, let me choose the 13 okay so this is looking perfect now we have to just duplicate it go to this just delete it delete the rest and from here uh, duplicate it three times one two three okay so this is great this section is also ready just we have to change the content let's change the content and the image okay let's go here i'm gonna change this let me change the image only and you can change the content according to you okay i don't want to make the video long okay let's go here and choose this and for the last content let me choose this okay okay perfect you can change the content whatever you want okay so let's update and let's view our site okay this is first this is also looking good this is working okay this is the portfolio section now we have to add this animation okay so for adding this animation uh, let's uh, let's choose this okay you have to choose the container okay this container okay go to advance and from here go to motion effects and from here uh, mouse effect and for this uh, okay so let me make this one okay so this is one okay so let's go to the same in the advance again for the next container uh, scrolling effect okay mouse scrolling effect no no scrolling effect not mouse effect and do the same 3d tilt direct uh, this time choose the opposite and make it one okay and uh, let me go to this container do the same make it one and let's go to the last container go to advance motion effects mouse effect 3d tilt uh, this would be opposite and make it one okay let's update let's refresh our page okay so here you can see that the beautiful animation is added okay so let's move to the next section okay so this is a testimonial section okay so let's make this let's move this navigator let me choose uh, another container from here you can go to the advance add a t t from the and you can also add uh, rename your container like this or right here test because it is confusing sometimes okay so you can let me add for this i'll show you let me go here and let's add this portfolio okay so like this you can add uh, you can give name to your container okay so let's back to the video let me go to the here and go to styles and here we're gonna add this blackish one again okay so now let's copy this let's paste here okay so what is the name testimonials we have to change the content and here i'm using the pop-in font okay okay so now we have to make this okay so for making this we need a uh, two container okay so let's go to here and drag and drop a container okay this is a container and inside this we have to make two container okay and make this this outside one these two container and that outside one make it like this okay okay so inside this we again need the two container one for the image and one for this okay so let me go here and just make it 
okay so let's focus on the video and let's make this testimonial session okay so for this uh, we have to add two container inside this okay okay so let me delete it first okay let me delete this okay so we have this okay so i'll show you uh, this is our main container and inside this we're gonna add these two okay let's go here and just make it and just duplicate it okay and from here make it row okay so inside this we again have to add the two container let me do that for the image one and one for the text okay then this uh, this outside container make it row okay so this will be like this let's go to let's add this image okay so let's choose the image let's choose this or you can choose any image okay now uh, we have to go to the border radius and add a border so it will be in the add 1000 border radius so it will be in the center okay so let me go here and see what image size we are using 75 let me go here i don't want to make the video long okay that's why let me copy this code also uh, solid 8 okay let me go here and in the border section choose solid and from here choose 8 okay let's go to hover for this okay not on the hover uh, always we have to show this okay so go to the normal and from here choose like this okay okay so you can see that here this is small but here this is okay so let me see okay so let me do it let me go here Re uh, remove this padding okay okay so let me first add this text okay so let's add this text i don't want the heading you want the text widget okay so now again uh, make it duplicate okay so for the first one let me add this content and from here i'm gonna change the content let me move it robert pattinson robert pattinson is an actor who was in the movie saga okay and the harry potter and the goblet of fire okay okay so let me go here and just make it like this let's increase the fonts wait okay so now we have to make like this okay so do one thing go here and just drag and drop this okay i think this is looking good then go to here and from here go to the layout and make it make it uh, everything center also make it everything center okay let's change its style okay perfect okay so this is looking good okay now just uh, we have to duplicate this okay so as you can see that if i go to here uh, you can see that uh, this is our main uh, this is our main testimony okay then this is the heading then this is our main container and inside this we have this two container okay so now if you want to duplicate this this container you have to first delete this container delete this then duplicate this okay so this is two now we have to duplicate this outside container okay. duplicate it one time it will come then duplicate it again okay so like here you can see there it is ready okay let's update so how cool is that by using the elementor we can duplicate our design and copy our styles and paste anywhere okay let me go here and refresh okay so like here you can see that our testimonial section is also ready you can see that here we have added some space so for adding the space uh, you can go to here adding or you can go here and go to the advanced or uh, okay go to the margin let's say at 100 so let's add 20 let's add 30 okay so here you can see that it is not properly aligned why because uh, i think okay uh, we have to remove this padding okay okay so you can remove this padding 
also remove this padding okay now this is properly aligned that's all right okay let's move to our next section okay so for making this section this section is very easy go to this go to this and from here we have to choose an image first let me go here and choose an image okay so you can choose any image so i'm gonna choose the same image and go to here make it center center and from position make it like this okay so now we have to add this content okay so let me add uh, advance and go to the padding from here add 80 80 okay so now for making this we have to add four container go to the widgets and go to container and just duplicate it four times and from this outside go to layout and make it row so it will properly align in the row okay so now we have to add this okay. for this the drag and drop and text and uh, okay or you can drag and duplicate this okay so this is in the column so let's go to this container and make it row okay so let's change the number 34 projects let me go here container and make it properly center okay let me change the color of this and for this we have to change the okay let's increase its font size a little bit make it 30 and for this we have to make the italic to everyone okay so let's go to here let go to typography and from style make it italic and for this go to typography and from style make it italic okay okay so this is looking good so now you can see that it has some white overlay color okay so for adding this go to this container go to styles then from here background overlay then add an overlay color to it uh, add the latest by whitish one okay okay so you can add any color you want okay so this is ready so let's just duplicate it let uh, delete our old let's duplicate it three times one two three okay so this is ready only just we have to change the content and uh, you can see that here we are getting the width longer so for making it longer go to here go to layout and from here make it one three zero zero okay so now only you have to change the content you can do it according to you let me update i don't want to change the content because it will make the video long okay so let me update and see okay so let okay so this is also done okay so let's move to this section okay so for making this section we have to add another container go to styles choose the color black go to advance here add the 80 and 80 okay now we need two container one for the image and one for this okay so let's go to the widgets drag and drop a container and duplicate it okay so for making it uh, align go to layout and choose the row okay let's go here widget and from here add an image go here and i'm i'm gonna choose the same image let's uh, choose this image okay so here you can see that we don't have any margin padding from the top i think okay so for go here go here and remove okay okay so here you can see that we have a little bit gradient color i think so go to here let's go to styles and from here choose the gradient and let's choose the dark one and for this i'm gonna use this shape okay then we have to go to the angle and we have to make the make it more dark okay okay so this is looking good okay so if you want to increase some width let me increase the width a little bit to make it one to zero zero okay so this is done okay so let's add this section add this 
okay, so for adding this i'm gonna again copy it copy it from the above paste okay then again we have to copy this paste okay it has some they are removed it remove it too okay so let me go to the container and from here make it column and make it center make it center make it like this okay uh, okay here okay choose this and choose this now go to styles and make it align like this let me change the content okay you have to go to styles uh, align like this let's decrease some font size make it 45 okay perfect okay now we have to add this okay so for adding this go to widget section and from here search for list let's drag and drop this okay. let's change the content okay so let's delete the rest and from here go to icons and choose the arrow okay so here you can see that uh, you don't have that similar arrow. You can choose here. or you can choose any arrow you want okay now uh, let us choose some different arrow let's see go here and choose this okay let's go to the icon and change the color and from here okay let's make it 35 you can choose any font you want i'm gonna choose the options okay from style make it italic let's increase some font size make it uh, make it 25 okay let's make it 17 let's decrease the icon little bit okay this is looking good let's duplicate it three times okay if you want to add uh, the space between this you can go here and add this space. okay so let's add this button go to widgets drag and drop this uh, button and uh, you can write here contact me go here and change its color okay okay let's go to the content and make it medium okay now you can see that it is uh, add the hover effect okay, so for adding this go to styles then from here let me choose what padding and all we have given it will be quick 23 border radius and 1850 1850 okay let me go here uh, 18 50 1850 what is the border radius 623 border 23 okay so in the hover we want to show this and for the text you have to make it dark okay let's update okay so it is looking like this and you can see that uh, we have to add some sp uh, space inside okay so for adding the space go to the container and from here go to layouts and from here add 50 it will give some space okay so add to every so if you see this space is looking like more go here okay okay so this is done if you want to make it little bit below go to advance and from here add this okay let's update okay let's refresh the page okay so this section is also ready let's move to our next section okay so for making this we have to again choose a container go to styles 
and choose the color black go to advance and add the padding it is from the top it is from the below okay so now go to this then add a container let's duplicate this go to here go to layout make it row okay so now uh, we have to add this okay so let me go to here let me copy this okay let me copy this again okay let me change the content okay so now we have to add this okay so for adding this again let's uh, copy this paste it below let's copy the content let's go to styles and uh, make it 500 and decrease the font size okay then change the color let's decrease some padding more okay so this is looking like this now we have to add this company logos go to widgets and from here add a container below it and inside this container we have to add an image okay let's go to image okay so this is not the image i think this is the svg you can go here and from here search for icon just drag and drop and make it align like this go to upload svg and from here choose the whatever svg you want to do show let me go to the styles and uh, okay let's keep the font size to be 80 make it 70 okay 70 is good let's duplicate it duplicate duplicate okay so now go to this container and go to layout and make it row okay this will be in the row direction and from here you can remove the padding so it will be perfectly left line okay you can add the logos and all according to you okay. so let's add this button okay so for adding this button we just uh, wanna copy this from the top and below this okay you don't want to duplicate let's uh, paste this so this will be in the okay so for adding this i think we have to add a container first we add a container and let's try and drop here then go to padding and remove it and and uh, remove its padding okay so this section is also ready uh, if you want to uh, let's make it little bit bigger okay then go to advance and give some little space below then go to and give space from the top okay so this will look like this okay so here you can see that it is whitish in color so let's change the color uh, for this we have to make it white for this we have to make it dark and for on the hover it will be orange and it will be white okay perfect let's update okay so now we have to add this image section okay so for making this image we need four columns okay inside this let's go here and add a container okay so inside this container we are gonna add one more container and just duplicate it okay so let's go to this outer container of these two boxes and make it like this and we have to duplicate this container okay and in the outside container go to here go to layout make it column center center so it will be properly center okay now we have to add a white color to this whitish okay. this is look like this let's drag and drop an image and let's change the image okay so what image i have chosen let uh, me choose this okay so for the second one we're gonna choose some different image 
Okay, so what image is this? Again, the laptop one go to this. Uh, uh, I have chosen one vertical image and one horizontal. Okay, so for making it center, go to this image container and make it center. Okay. So let me do one thing. Let's uh, duplicate this. Okay, no duplication. Let me go here, drag and drop this image container, drag and drop this in this. Okay, so now we want to choose this image, lamp one. Go to here and let's choose the lamp image. Okay, now we have to choose this, go here and uh, this image. Okay, perfect. Okay, so now you can see that it is in the perfectly corner. So for making it corner, you just have to remove all the padding remove okay so let's move to our this and from here we are gonna remove the padding one by one go, go to this container go to this container okay now go to this container uh, remove padding by going one by one from the navigator from the navigator go to advance remove this okay so let's update okay so like here you can see that uh, it is come but this section is not in the center and this is also not in the center okay so for making this uh, we have to go to okay we have to go to this section this image section and layout and here make it center okay so this is in the center okay so for making this go to this container go to layout and here make it in the center so by using the elementor flexbox you can make awesome designs okay very fast Okay, so this section is also ready let me update so let's move to our final section the contact us section okay so for making the contact section containers let me add this okay let's go to advance and add 80 from the top it will come the below okay and if you want to have this website for free uh, you can go to the uh, uh, you can visit to my uh, website and from here you can download this template okay at a very cheap price okay so uh, i will give the link in my description if you want to have this template you can go to my website and have this for very cheap price okay so let's focus to our contact us section go to this container go to styles and from here uh, choose this same color and go to here okay let's duplicate this then go to the layout and from here go to this okay now first we have to add this okay so let's go here make this orange and from the border make uh, add the border radius 20 now we have to just add this okay okay so let me go here and let's copy this now let me do one thing copy this let's change this color and also remove all this okay now we have to add this let's go to here okay let's see in the content okay now so the next section is this so let me go here and copy this from the top and paste it here now just copy this content and go here okay so let's add some padding I go to advance and let's me add here for so let's make this part go to here add an icon list icon list okay let's go to here and add a mail icon okay duplicate it duplicate it let me change Uh, 
but go here and search for phone and for the last one i am gonna add the website www demo website .com. you can add your website here if you have a website or if you don't have a website you can watch my videos and you can make your website oh yeah let me go to the text uh, let's increase the font size go to styles and make it italic okay let's increase the icon size let's add the space okay so this is done let's add this okay so for adding this i'm gonna copy this uh, paste it and follow us go to styles and just make it 50 okay so now we have to add these social icons okay so let's go to the widgets and from here search for social icons and just icon of this now make it align center and from styles go to the custom and uh, okay make it completely transparent okay so and from here remove the spacing and increase the font and uh, increase the size okay let make it 25 okay so let's add this okay so for adding this you have to again uh, use this okay uh, remove this and from here write here copyright 2023 Okay, so you can write this and let me go here and make it default okay let's go to the container and go to here and choose the copyright icon okay let's go to icon and decrease some okay let's update okay so this section is ready let's add this contact form go to the widgets and search for form okay so drag and drop here at first we have to add a text okay let's from the navigator align it top then write here contact me make it align like this also i'm gonna add a padding to this at 40 padding okay now let's make this okay so first uh, we need this content enter your name let me go to the form and in the placeholder change enter your name okay here enter your email in the message enter your message okay let's make it six okay. okay so let's go to the styles and in the row gap increase the gap go to content and in the input size make it large okay and for the button make it large also and you can write here let me add the submit you can change anything here let's go to the styles and in the fields we have to add the border radius 20 let's go to the button and here change the color make it white and on the hover make it black okay okay the background color is this okay okay so this is the background color this is the text okay 
okay so let's so here you can see that uh, we have the border radius like this okay in the button so let's go to the button and in the border radius let's add the 20 okay so let's update okay so this section is also ready okay so let me preview it once you can go here and see the changes okay so here it, uh, you can see that it is not in the center okay so for making everything in the center let's go to this form container and from here go to the layout go to this and make it center and make it center also if you want to make this center go to layout center center and like this okay so this is ready so you can see that uh, we don't have little bit space let's add a space to this or you can go to the container and add here 30 gap okay so it will give the gap to all the particular part of the containers okay so if you want to download this template at a very cheap price you can visit to my website i'll give the link in my description you can go and download this full website from there okay so i'll give the link in the description visit my website and at a very cheap rate you will get this full website fully responsive for your mobile and desktop and tablet at a very cheap price okay okay so our this section is also ready let me refresh this okay so all our section is ready now okay so you can see that everything is ready okay so then so now we uh, so now i'm going to show you how to make this responsive okay so for making this responsive go to here press and uh, and visit in the mobile preview okay so let's back to the top okay so here we have to go to this container go to the advanced and uh, let's add again okay now we have to add some padding in the top okay so this is like this okay let's go to this container uh, let's make a random okay so make it center okay, so this is in the center okay okay so this is already responsive and this is like this okay so go here and make it like this also for this container make it like this okay let's go here and copy this copy the styles copy the styles for this also okay let's go here and go to the layout and go here go here make it go here okay okay so now uh, you can see that it is overlapping let me go here okay let me go to this image see what is the problem okay so here we are gonna increase the image size okay let's go to this container okay let's go to here okay so this is like this let's add the negative margin for the mobile okay so this is looking like this let's go here and add some uh, give this 100 also give this 100 add 10 and 10 okay let's go here and decrease some font size okay so this is also work if you want to increase its space i think space is a little bit more make it 100 okay okay so this is looking good let's increase some okay so this is also work let update okay so for making this uh, we just have to change its uh, let's change is 60 okay just add 10 10 okay let's move to this okay so this is i think looking good uh, you can play with it according to you and for and you can make it properly center okay okay let's make it 50 okay so here go to this make it 0 0 and let's go to this container add 80 10 
okay we have to go to this container one go to here add a t10 a t10 okay this is this is good okay let's do one thing let's go to the top so in this way you can make the responsive layout go here and just copy the styles you have to add go to here add a t10 a t10 okay let's decrease the image size a little bit let's make it 40 okay let's go to alignment make it center and for this go to this container and make it center okay let's copy this code let's copy this for all and play the styles to every okay let's paste the style to every text okay so if you are new to our channel please subscribe to our channel because such type of videos take very much effort for making okay so if you like our video till now please subscribe to the channel let's make it center okay okay so let's update okay so this much part is all all responsive for the mobile uh, you can see that okay so let me see below below so it is looking good it is also looking good okay so i think the rest part is looking good okay okay so rest part is looking good let me change its font style let me 40 okay so all these parts are responsive automatically click the elemental okay so let me go to this let refresh our site okay so you can see that our website is ready only the header part is left okay okay and if you want to add the animations i'm gonna uh, uh so okay so let me show you how to add the an, uh, animation i'm gonna add the animation only in the first section and you can add the animation in all okay go to advance and go to motion effects from here you can add any animation let me add here slide in up and give it timing let me go to here and add the motion effect again slide in up make it 600 you can add the animation like this okay. i don't want to make the video long okay 900 okay so let me add the animation to this also image let's go to motion effect slide in up or we can choose it zoom in okay choose the timing okay let's go to the motion effect and uh, let's choose the slide in up and here okay so in this way you can add the animation to all of this and according to it okay like this here you go to advance and uh, go to motion effect and from here add an animation zoom in and make it 300 okay so in this way like here you can go to advance and go to ad advance here and here right animation slide in up and make it time this and then make it 600 then make it 900 so it will come in the effect i'll show you Hundred. okay So 
Okay, so in this way you can add the animation and all. Okay, so let me go here and uh, refresh our website one more time. Okay, so like here you can see that the animation is per perfectly working. Okay, so in this way you can add the animation whatever you want in your website, and our website is fully responsive. Okay, so let me show you how to add this header. Okay, how to make this header. So first go to the settings. Let me make it elementary full width. Okay, let's update. Okay, so for making the menu. You have to first uh, go to your appearness and from here go to the menu section then make a menu okay then go to menu then after that go to the theme builder of the elemental or you can choose any free plugin also like elemental header and footer but for this i am uh, i am using the elemental header okay so here i have added a header okay Okay, so let me make a new header. Okay, so if I visit to this site, you can see that uh, when I go to our section uh, when i click here it will uh, it will uh, automatically uh, visit this section okay so so i'm going to show you how to make this also so okay so be in the video okay so for uh, making the header let's choose uh, this container go to this make it here okay first uh, we have to add okay text let me name it Let me change the color first go to here darkish one and for this I'm gonna choose this color okay then go here and choose for menu just drag and drop this it will automatically be here okay go to here go to layout and make it space between okay then uh, let me add some padding okay. for making it center let me choose it width first okay. okay so like this you can add the menu so for making like this what we want we have to do go to here first uh, make it color like this okay. then go to hover for the pointer color and for the text color on hover okay and go to space between and add the space 30 so it will be like this let's publish it at condition entire site so it is showing that we have already a header that's why it is showing that okay so let me show you how to make this responsive go to this and from here you have to just uh, decrease the font size it will be automatically in the center okay so this is center let me go here and the toggle button okay so this is like this and this is and for making it do it center and make it full width so it will open like this okay so in this way you can make the menu okay so let's refresh our page okay so you can see that our menu is also ready now we have to show now i'm going to show you how to add the links okay so for adding the links let me visit our menu section and in the menu when you make the menu add the custom menu like this and in the link just add a like this add okay so uh, it is the CSS ID. If you don't know about the CSS ID, okay. So just do like this. Add this about and the same name you have to give here. In which section you want to visit, okay? Like this. Uh, in the CSS ID, write about. 
okay so when you click about it will be redirect to this okay when you click about it will be go to this you can add the section to all okay okay so our website is ready and it is also fully responsive okay so if you like our video please subscribe to our channel and uh, like and share our videos with your friends and i'm gonna see you next time